What's good, YT? It's your boy Llama back with another VI. I got another build video for y'all. So this build is gonna help y'all out on the twos, threes, rack, whatever you wanna do. You ain't playing center with this build, don't get it twisted. But this build, it can dominate on the twos and threes against big men, all right? I'm not talking about no 7-3 big men, but a lot of people are already 6-11 and 6-10, or they got their 6-8, 6-9 rebounding wing, you know? So this build is gonna be a shooting guard. Doesn't matter with hand or number. You wanna go down to the green and red pot chart. It's gonna be defending and shooting, right? Now, you're not gonna go with max speed. You're not gonna go with the um, purple, mostly purple pot chart because you don't need really speed for this build. You're gonna need your vertical and strength. If you're going to go with balance, you can go with balance. But speed is going to be there regardless if you're playing a big man. But we're going to go with vertical and strength for this. Now pay attention to this close shot. We're not going to put that up. We're going to drive in layups. And we're going to drive in dunks. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. You're going to go your mid-range shot all the way up. Three-point shot all the way up. Free throw. Post fade. You're going to go down. One, two clicks on the post fade. You're gonna put your passing accuracy maxed out, ball handle maxed out. That's gonna give you nine so far. And we're gonna go one click for the post moves, all right? So that's gonna give you 10 playmaking badges. Perimeter defense, we're gonna max it out. Steals, max, no. Uh, blocks, max it out. Offensive rebounds, max out. Lateral quickness, we're gonna work around this, watch this. Now, you see we have 18, right? We're gonna put that towards our interior defense, make it a 62. You can make it up, you can put it up a little more since you're gonna go, since you're playing big man, you're gonna take away from your lateral quickness at least two clicks. Let me see if we can do a little more, all right. So we're gonna wanna max out our interior defense because we're gonna be in the paint, right? So your lateral quickness is gonna be at a 76 and your interior defense is gonna be at a 67 starting off. Remember, you went with vertical and strength. So continue, build. You want to go with a, a bigger body type. Why? It's because when a, a center sees you, he's going to think you're bigger than what you are. You know, you're going to you're going to want to look bigger than what you are. They're not going to really know your height, right? Uh, and while we didn't put our close shot up, the driving dunks and the driving laps, we don't really need that. We could just put a slithery finisher or a contact finisher. But you're not getting contact dunks in any of that. And you're not going to really be in a paint scorer, you know. you mostly a drive to the paint. You want to have enough speed for the centers to drive to the paint and uh, score. So you don't really need no, no finishing badges like that. You only need one. I'm telling you, trust me, it'll work like that. So you, I'm gonna go with Burley, cause I wanna look way bigger than what I'm supposed to, right? Six, you're gonna go to six seven. Six seven, that's the max height. And for the weight, you're gonna go with 232. Why we don't max it out? It's because you lose one of your acceleration and we, don't, we want as much acceleration as possible and we wanna keep our interior defense at a 75. So you're gonna go with 232, right? Your lateral quickness is fine because the centers is not fast enough. They, you're, you're always going to put them on clamps if they're trying to drive to the basket or whatnot. And for the wingspan, don't ever put your wingspan all the way down. Especially if you're a, a, a playing a, a big man. If you're a defender and a shooter, you're not going to go all the way down. Look at this. You got a 74 three-point shot and a 76 mid-range shot. That's high enough to make consistent threes and mid-ranges if you have dime or floor general shot boost. Corner specialist, even anyone, it doesn't even matter. It works out. You can go down one, you know, even though you lose out on your steals and blocks, you go down one to have a 75 uh, three-point shot. So when you uh, get to 99 overall, you have a 79 total. Because we want to have as much reach as possible since we're playing the big man. And look at our strength. Our strength is an 83 right now. 83 as a shooting guard and for your finishing I mean for your takeover badge you're not going to go with lockdown you could if you want to you can go with any badge you want honestly but if you're going to be a consistent shooter at the end you could always go with spot up shooter don't go with playmaking or shot creating because it's not going to work you get 10 plus boost to your three point shots in your mid range if you have spot up shooter and um and if you want you get your takeover 
so you have 10 plus so you have like a 80 something on both both right um for the lockdown takeover it really wouldn't matter um still gonna have a boost on your shot but it's not as much as spot up shooter so i recommend a spot up shooter so you can hit consistent shots you're gonna make your shots consistent as hell now you got a facilitating shooter facilitating shooter yeah now don't finish here we got a facilitating shooter yeah now for the badges say so finishing badge like i said most of the time you go to the paint you're not getting contact dunks you only got a 78 driving dunk so most of the time you can either just put contact finisher or slithery finisher i recommend slithery finisher since you're not getting contact dunks and you can avoid as much uh avoid as much um contact as possible but if you're driving on the big man a lot then uh giant slayer but like i said i recommend slithery finisher for any type of build that's down low now for the shooter you're going to want to have quick draw at least on gold or hall of fame mm -hmm. i say gold just because hall of fame is not going to make a huge difference but if you want to put hall of fame that works you can shoot mid ranges you can shoot threes you can have your range extender on gold you don't have to have it on hall of fame because you're not going to shoot um like a half court or any of that remember you just being a spot up shooter right that eye just in case they jump and try to contest it won't make it pay, play a big part on your your shooting ball if you have high zones on the court you put high zone hunter but if you're just starting out with him i recommend you have green machine on silver you don't have to put it on gold because silver is just fine you make two or three greens you're going to make more consistent greens all the time that is whatever you recommend for catch and shoot i recommend you put that on hall of fame because that's mostly all you're going to be doing if your guard is isoing right if your point guard is isoing catch and shoot is where you want to be at and also corner special if you're staying in the corner corner specialist is the badge you want look th we can work this out right here with pick and popper i'm gonna tell you why right now you're gonna have gold pick and popper gold pick and popper is going to help you if you're setting picks if your point guard can't get open but if you if you want to put that or something else you could you can put brick wall on your strength is up so if you're setting screens on a on the point guard and he's hitting your screens hard the big man is going to have to pick up your strength is already up so it's going to be hard for him to squeeze by right so since you could put brick wall you got pick and popper you could move out and you could shoot the ball so that'll have an extra boost to your shot right intimidator since you're playing against big man hall of fame you don't need clamps on hall of fame you're not playing against the point guard if you want to guard the point guard that's up to you but most of the time you're going to be playing against the big man so what you would need is pogo stick at least on gold rent protector on silver rebound chaser hall of fame and you can have interceptor if you want or you can have uh clamps on silver but since you're playing like like I said since you're playing against the big man you can also put this on uh, post move lockdown because a lot of them they're going to try to post you up if you look small to them they're going to try to post you up drop step and go up have post move lockdown on it'll make a difference get the ball back let your point guard go to work all over again for the playmaking all you need is unpluckable on bronze your ball handle is not trash that is going to work out you're going to need quick first step on goal because that jab step is going to kill the big man you already got the speed over him the jab step is going to kill him you're not going to be a crazy dribbler so you don't need your yeah hand through for days or, or nothing but lob city passer you already have good pass accuracy right lob city passes for the point guard passes to you the big man steps up you're not dribbling nowhere right be the jab step quick first step to the basket or he can cut to the basket and if he's a some type of slashing shooter or whatnot you can throw the live sign if he's not then don't even look at that bass other than that you can have stop and go also you can just have tight handles it's whatever works for you and that's how you work your facilitated shooter when you make this build if you're gonna put them on your page comment in the comments i'm gonna go check them out see how you working them all right i'll highlight y'all here